The mobility uh, in the European Union is a fundamental value and I think there's a general understanding that mobility, free movement of labour, of services uh, has a major contribution to make to the single market. Um, and of course uh, you need to respect certain rules and you, you want to make sure that there is not fraud but I think there is a general consensus on that and we're working very hard to ensure that there is genuine free movement uh, of, of particularly of people but then when you have social standards in certain member states you have to make sure that the core standards are respected but then of course you cannot misuse uh, social arguments in order to uh, for protectionist purposes so it's always a balance which needs to be found and that's why I think we have a social competitive social market economy because that is the whole balance in Europe I think for as far as uh, uh, citizens uh, workers and businesses are concerned we have other tools we have uh, the single uh, the single points of contacts which exist in all member states where every citizen every consumer every worker can address their issues and where we have thousands and thousands of requests and where people get direct answers uh, that these centers plus the site which is called your europe imi is a very uh, internal market uh, information exchange this is a very specific instrument which is uh, only uh, about cooperation electronic cooperation between authorities and member states so um, we have 7,000 authorities which are linked through this system and as far as posting of workers is concerned it's only in the test phase so it's just starting we have uh, we have used it since 2009 and this is basically where uh, control authorities uh, exchange data with each other where they can ask questions about uh, whether for instance to make sure whether somebody is actually I mean, a company really does exist it's not a letterbox company uh, whether for instance social security um, payments are done so it's it's really I mean com an instrument of communication between the authorities uh, last year we had 1,000 uh, requests which is of course still very little but you must not forget that this is a test phase and once the new directive will be there it will be compulsory uh, to use it uh, uh, and uh, that will help them a lot to inform member states among each other if so instance there are complaints about service providers so it's an important instrument but it's not something which is, which is, of, which is of direct value to the uh, uh, to citizens or businesses they have other tools which we provide which they can use